Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to begin something, funnily enough. Mostly because I decided that since we did just an absolute ton of Digimon Survive, I thought, nah, we're gonna put that off a little bit because we'll, we will go through and uh, begin our journey towards uh, the spoilerific stuff on our second playthrough. And, yeah, I just decided, hey, one of these days I'm going to want to really give a shot towards the Assassin's Creed franchise again, because I only ever played through, really, the first one and the second one. Sure, I also did, I believe I beat Brotherhood and Revelations, which I think were the third and fourth main games, even though they're kind of just Ezio the side games, but meh. Yeah. But... Yeah, I just figured, hey, might be interesting to go through uh, the Assassin's Creed games again. And then on to the new ones eventually, even if it will take me a bit. Because they get progressively more and more just absolute open world. And it just <laughs> gets kind of crazy. Also, the audio might sound different because I've been just trying to find good audio settings. But either way, let's jump in. Also, one thing that I scarily noticed is every single time, because this isn't the first time that I've played this. This is not the first time. I've played Assassin's Creed 1, like, at least three times by now. This is the mad part. Be gone. But yeah, this is like the third or fourth time I'm going to be playing Assassin's Creed. Just to say, I feel like uh, doing it from the top, because why not? It's just like, this is a very old game, all things considered, isn't it? But one little thing while the memory thing is happening in the background, it's not all that important, is... Getting controller working with Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 is very weird. Like, specific- like, even though Steam has, like, built-in functionality for the PlayStation 4 controller, I need to use the program DS4 Windows, I think it is, wonkily called, which lets you use the DualShock 4. I still find it hilarious. It's just like still shots of in-game locations flying towards the screen. This definitely is not good on the eyes. This does not help at all. But yeah, I need an exter like a third-party program to use the PlayStation 4 controller for these games. Not yeah. You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. We saved your life from the situation we put you in. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? Because they're the you villains. Have information we need, Mr. Miles. Mr. Miles. I'm a what are you, the G-Man? What do you want me to do? Teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. That's don't why I stumbled over my me. consonant. There isn't time. You're an assassin. Or is and that... whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employer. I forget want. what the other one's called. Locked away in that head of yours. Oh yeah, I forgot we can change. We not can anymore. change camera angles. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For your you memories. To do as you're told. Your brain. The animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it. You'll be free to go. I am not Don't believe back them. In there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. Yeah, so science. What is it, Mr. Miles? Science is then often insane. Lie down. Press any button to interact. Time to lay my body on the spine alignment. Diddly D. Whoa. 
Whoa. It's DNA. It's, it's not even that impressive, all things considered. It's just... Well, maybe he's seen something different than we are. With a brain. One way, specifically for memory, we're using a female model for this. Abstargo has its priorities, I guess. This is an interesting, like, a theory, all things, all things considered. DNA memory. Has an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. Sounds sciency. Let you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. The one that doesn't have DNA. That's obviously why you can't get it. I do like that you just kind of free look around the DNA menu. Ah, starting from step one. And then the Facebook visor is replaced with full 3D memory. Unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. I do kind of kind of miss the Assassin's Creed 1 wonkiness with later games from what I've played. It just has a charm to it, even if it is basically. Assassin's Creed 2 the beta. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please yeah, because they tried to shove me in in, in the thick of it. Ah, the good old days when Assassin's Creed 1 was new. Unloading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the animus. You will begin. Remember when Eagle Vision was stuck to first person? Also, I just just put it together that technically this game uses the Tekken way of doing things. Head, hands, legs. I go in circles. I don't like the way the computer said good. To walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization. I'm trying to. Let me through, Animus Tutorial Lady. I don't quite get why they carry it on their head. I guess because that way a stable part of them is like holding up the weight rather than carrying it in their arms and their arms get super fatigued well, maybe. I don't know. I'm not in... What is it? Third Crusade Jar Carrier? Two fundamental actions. Low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. You can pray. Hold that is socially acceptable. To see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. It's a very simple tutorial, but I, I still like it. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Do I kill him? Grab and throw this individual onto the marker. Is there just something on his hat? Is there a leaf on his hat? 
be gone onto platform with you. Good. Be tutorialized, faceless mook. Using your leg button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. Reach the marker However, before this man does. Where is this man? Is he more powerful than that man? Sprinting, from like Guilty Gear? This man does. His name is actually this man. That is why he's the most powerful. Well done. The enemy time to murder. That's my favorite time. The murder time. Icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. Context is my favorite thing. I just realized after... Mainly because I keep looking at the one in the top left, which is more pixelated. I never realized that that was supposed to be an eye. That's supposed to be an eye there. But because it was, like, always... Uh... Pixelated and, like, farther away, I, I never real, like thought about it to be an eyeball before. But I guess it makes sense. That only comes up when you are being looked at. I am a fool. I am... Uno momente. I keep forgetting things. Because I am big fool person. The fooliest fool to ever fool. Hello there, loading personality. I was being a fully, fully, full fool. And in fact, I think I'm still being a fool. <laughs> Currently, being a fool. While I work out my diddly dee, it's supposed to function, but it's not. Mm. But how about you? How you be? These times and days. Gaze upon my incompetence. <laughs> this is my favorite AC game. Love Altair. Altair is a good character. I don't know why. I also don't know why that... Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Technology, why have you forsaken me? Hmm. Oh, well, guess I'll just have to be... Yeah, my expressions are currently not working on my little avatar person. Profound sadness. <laughs> Wouldn't that be weird? You just come in, and it's just like, oh, I'm talking to you, and... Nope. I am just being the biggest bumpkin in the universe. Well, let's kill this guy. And now we shall wait to hear the lamentation of his friend. Where's the one responsible for this? Oh yeah, I forgot how just l compressed the guard dialogue is. Uh, 2007. Upon seeing a dead body, he has been informed. Come on everybody, let's provoke him by jumping. Remember, kids, when you see a dead body, if anybody jumps in the air, they're the one who did it. They are the bad guy. This game was way ahead of its time, to be honest. I do enjoy me some classical Assassin's Creed 1, even if it is seen by some to be basically Assassin's Creed 2, the beta. I do enjoy it for what it is. And that's why I continually come back to it from time to time. And hopefully, this time I'll be able to go through a bunch of Assassin's Creeds to kind of catalog my experience with this here game. And the various... of everything. See how the series changes for me over the sequels. Especially once they get to super duper Ubisoft sandbox RPGs. 
Because I've yet to play those ones. The furthest I've got, I think, was Revelations. Which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. I hate the new ones, Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. I've yet to play them, and someday I will give them my own opinion once I allow them to exist within my mind. But they are very, very far away. So, it might be a while before we actually get there. This is still a funny mechanic. By pretending to pray, they will think that you are a scholar. And even though they're looking for murderers, they're like, Ah, scholars! They can't commit murders. They're a scholar. Will you play Black Flag? Most definitely. I'm going to play through, like, all the main ones. Including Liberation and Rogue, if I have them. I think I have Liberation, and I know that I have Rogue. So, I'll definitely experience all of the main, main, main Assassin's Creed's. <laughs> Praying solves everything, even escaping murder. If you're... Eddie Brock from the third Spider-Man movie, you can even pray for murder. Roll credits. How many times is the Assassin's Creed even mentioned in Assassin's Creed? And then come to think of it, how long is this game even going to focus on e even slightly assassiny characters? Valhalla is about a Viking. How is that an assassin? You have successfully completed the tutorial. The most stable memory block will now be loaded. Go to the memory block. Hope it's not the chopping block. Wait, I just have tons of games that I want to play. And sadly, a lot of them are open world. There must be another way. Nah, murder solves everything. Just had to do it the most brutal way, too. An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Fortune favors Not murdering fortune old people. Skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn this is one thing that I adore about this game, is the camera glitches. That you can actually like, press a button at the glitches to get kind of typical <laughs> camera action. It matters not how we complete our task. That it's done. But this is not the way My way is better. <laughs> My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. We're here to kill a bald man. The master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is I do kind of find it funny that Altair's voice is noticeably different from everybody else. It has a kind of charm to it. Although that's the one odd thing that I still remember about the Assassin's Creed. Ah, the contextual actions. One thing is, I think I need to... Is there a UI? Because the UI seems oddly... Oddly large. Oh well, I don't know why. The UI, the UI just seems oddly large to me. But that could just be me. The game's like, no, you have to lock on to him. And now, you shall die. Like the old man before you. I just put my hand through your head, okay. Hm. It's interesting, Middle East history. We are in the e era of which are the Third Crusade? Don't be silly. I mixed them up. It's just a story. Then what is it? It's Hi. magical. Someone's coming. I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals of Masia. Masia. Robert de Saab. His life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. 
he stands between us and it, I'd say it's necessary. You know, Altair, if you weren't <laughs> being dumb, you might have a point. And here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creeds. Now you would break a third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior in both title and ability. You should know better than my ability to fuck up a mission, apparently. But still, this is the plot kicking off. Get on to the ladder. I, I jumped onto a fire. Hold Templars. You are not the only ones with business here. Ah, That's not very assassiny of you, Altair. And what is it you want? Your life. Yes, the Third Crusade. Haha! -ha! I have basic memory. You know not the things in which you meddle, assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. It kind of looks like he's force choking me. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Now, how are they supposed to get out of there? My real name is Saladin, so you you know why I'm basically interested about it. <laughs> or is it Saladin or Salahaddin? Because I've heard it said both ways. Don, living in a Western country, was like, "Ah, oh, let's butcher the name sometimes, but not other times." Because in this game, I think they pronounce it Salahaddin, or at least a name that's like that. Pronounces Salahaddin. Perhaps I myself am being dumb Westerner. <laughs> it's Salahaddin. You actually pronounce it right. Didn't <laughs> didn't want to bother you. No problem at all. Because, like I said beforehand, in other like media, I heard the name pronounced Saladin. But then in this game, they actually pronounce it Salahaddin. It was just like that's one thing that kind of stuck with me. <laughs> Salahaddin and his infidel armies, the Altair. preachers in the uh, Richard the Lionheart conquered cities, I, I think. Your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. Books are very important. Thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. I, d I don't think either of those things will be real for Altair for a while. I just enjoy the, like, aesthetic and feel of Assassin's Creed 1. It feels more interesting than some of the other ones, but at the same time, I got sidetracked by a bunch of other games, so... I don't know exactly. Exactly. We'll have to wait and see how things go. I'm trying to think. I was 11 years old when I first played this. The good old days. The nice old days when games were eh, a bit more unique in variety and execution. I think that was kind of a, not golden age, but a decent age where games were allowed to be kind of experimental. And then they eventually went and... Stopped being that. Like, refine this until it is smooth and uninteresting. Ah, he returns at last. I don't even know if you have a name. Where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. That's the thing. A lot of these characters are like, we act like we know Altair, and then we don't have names. I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. No Wait a minute, do you have all your fingers? Boot. I don't another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for I don't blade. this guy has all his fingers. He's not even a real assassin. I had to sacrifice my finger. Right there. Bush, get out of the way. That's kind of funny. You there, are you missing a finger? Why am I the only one that had to cut off my finger for my my blade gauntlet? I feel like I've been joked. I've been japed. It is an honor. The master waits Apparently somebody else, long before Da Vinci, 
discovered how to get around it too. <laughs> All fingers, no party. Master. Come forward. Tell me of your mission. It was an absolute failure, because I, I need to suffer protagonist in There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I failed I terribly. Failed you. The treasure? Compromised. And Robert? Alive. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than You're married? I never before. knew. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. <laughs> Do not Another speak. Word. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you, I'll find him. I'll go in. No. You, you have done enough. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? They're dead. Dead. No. And then, from the... Not Here's the question. How did he get here so fast? Malik. All things considered. Live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing How'd you... I, could do. I guess it could be explained that Robert let him escape, but at the same time he gets the, the treasure. And my brother... My brother would still be alive! You chose to be an assassin. And then chose to lead... Or, not lead, but follow Altair. The crazy dumbass. Seems I've returned with more than just the treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. <laughs> I wonder if that guy's just he like, oh, I'm awkward. I'm holding the treasure. Where should I put it, sir? As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. What is this? Late 90s anime where we can only say destroy and not kill? We are assassins. <laughs> that, guy, that guy entered ragdoll mode. <laughs> right as we were following. Just coming on along. Ragdoll mode activate. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most, but not all. What do you need me to do? Kill. Be a protagonist. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. Off we go. To murder the invaders. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Let us go. Experience our first taste of combat before they take away the counter button. Ah, uh, dang it. The early combat's a bit clunky. Let's see if I can do the. Because there's a thing, I think, where if you press the attack button, yeah, right as you the swords clash. I was never good. Guy just falls from the sky. It's raining, man. <laughs> Hallelujah, it's raining, men. Okay. Dang it. I've, for whatever, my brain just being very bad with controls today. It was like, I want to lock onto that guy. And then I have so used to modern days just being like, flick the control stick that I forgot how to change lock on to somebody else. Because I am a fool. Leave that man alone. Damn it, the man is dead. And he just dies. These guys are much easier to kill than they will be later. Where the game becomes counter button the video game. And just as a side note, no, I will not be going for, like, a uh, fool flag and crusader, like, a uh, completion, because that's just a nightmare. The 
that guy's just standing outside his house like nothing's happening. And I wonder what's going on over there. And then the Crusaders that they were fi <laughs> fighting in the middle here are just like, Oh, I guess they're running away. We'll stop attacking them. As five million Crusaders pour in through the door. And now... I highly doubt we got all the injured up here. Highly doubt it. All the injured. <laughs> Probably not all safe. But... Oh. I, g I don't know why. My brain just turned off there for a moment. Forgot we're coming this way. How can I even hear you all the way over there? Especially if just the quiet way you're talking. I didn't know telepathy was a part of the assassin's ability repertoire. What a fool! What a fool, he says. Are you mocking me? Is this like I wouldn't jump into a hay bale at the bottom of a cliff? Stand on that platform, okay. The birds guide you. Lay down what you have stolen from me. You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. I mean, they're the ones that pushed us all the way to the castle. I assure you, this is no game. <laughs> this is no game. It's a game. It literally is. <laughs> it is literally a video game, my dude. Also very rude. And your stores are hardly endless. How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. He just ran right into the talking point for this. Why do we even have a bunch of hay down there? Follow me and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God. Well, we're going down and not up, so it's not really to God. This is something. Watch the guy's leg. Just frickin' folded it. <laughs> Always disturbed me. Because on one of my playthroughs, I've just, like, <laughs> noticed that it actually did that. Although it would be hilarious if you're, like, one of the Crusaders and you just hear that. It's just like, go to God! Oh, my leg! Must be an amusing thing to hear. Easy to go to God when you're not thinking of the pain and misery. And now, uh, to climb. Climb, climb, climb. This is one thing that I do like in the future Assassin's Creed, is they kind of refined the climbing. Even if there is a bit of charm to the old climbing, sometimes it's just like, why can't you go that way, Altair? Because I was not programmed to. Which is ever so slightly funny. And now... Stibbity stab. <laughs> the logs went through a few guys. Don't, don't say that I didn't see that game. Well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? Because I am an assassin. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair, all of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. Also, just know, again, this guy, the there head of our rules. assassin order, has all fingers. Am I the only one, one who cut off my finger for my gauntlet? Which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First A way of clipping there made it look like he stuck his fingers in my blade. mouth. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. 
and stay the little pity pap. Unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child. Or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. <laughs> That's metal. It is that which gives us I wonder if anybody in any Assassin's Creed insult. game actually does that. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. There was no Do you crowd down there. Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, <laughs> drawing attention before you'd struck. To be fair to Altair, there were no crowds down in the Solomon's Temple. Also, why was there an old guy in the excavated ruins of Solomon's Temple, come to think of it? Direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. To be fair, Malik was the one to uh, lead them all here. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. Technically, if Malik died, nobody else would. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. I'm, I'm not a traitor. A I'm a video game protagonist. Peace be upon you, Altair. I think I took worse hits in the fight before. It was a very small blade that he stabbed He's me with. experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. Way too long? It's been like... Then again, it also depends. I, what if Desmond actually experienced the entire ride back to Masayef? Whereas we just experienced the highlights. That would actually be amusing. And then they just don't say anything. They just leave their captive audience here to do whatever. This part always amused me. It's always, it's kind of fascinating. They're like, yeah, just let characters wander around. Hmm, we can't in act interact with the computer yet. But we can see them talking about us. Time to listen. I appreciate your questioning my authority in front of the prisoner. There's a word for that. I believe it's called insubordination. <laughs> and I don't appreciate you trying to kill him. There's a word for that, too. I believe it's called stupid. <laughs> Your case. It isn't my decision. I don't set the deadlines. But I'm smart enough not to challenge them. Do you want to wind up like Mishnah? I know the accident has everyone on edge. <laughs> the accident. Which is why there's no time to coddle him. If you push him too hard, he'll shut down. And then we'll have nothing. We have nothing now. But we will. We just need to have a little faith. Fine. But I want you thinking of ways to improve his staying power. We can't afford to stop every time the man breaks a sweat. Nothing really to say in this part, just funny little back and forth plot. I'll do what I can. Old man once more. Secretary says, stop. Man, I can't even change my clothes. I always found that voice line hilarious. We never see him at this desk. I wonder what's in that book. What are you, book? You're an Upstargo book, but still. Wonder what's in there. We'll never know. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. But what if I don't want to get some rest? What if I want to murder? I am an assassin, after all. Do I have all my fingers? The camera's very... Yeah, I have all my fingers. So technically I'm not an assassin. I wonder why they even let you come up here. Just look at the bulky electronics. 
in the year 2007. That's very futuristic. So you're really an assassin? Like Al Tair? Yes and no. What do you mean? I was supposed to be. I was. <laughs> but I ran away from the farm when I was 16. The farm. Yeah, that's what they call the place where I grew up. The farm. Like Messiah, I guess. Only not so, uh, creepy. <laughs> creepy. It's a small community in the middle of nowhere. About 30 of us live in, you know, off the grid. Why? Survivalists taken to the extreme. He's trying to stick it to the man, you know? My dad was always going on about our enemies, how they'd be looking for us, how we'd have to be prepared. No one ever came. Nothing ever happened. They only come when you don't away. expect it. Never leave and also when it's a video game. You have any idea what it feels like being trapped in a place, knowing there was a whole world out there I'd never get to see? Don't you miss your parents? No. As far as I'm concerned, they weren't my parents. Harsh they but were my fair. wardens, and I was their prisoner. It sounds like they only wanted to protect you. With all that's happened, I don't know. I guess they were right. <laughs> in the end, the crazy one. The because... It's then right. again, the world of Assassin's Creed about. itself Try and get some sleep. is kind of crazy. Of us because, if I'm correct, like, Assassin's Creed 1's world with implications in the emails imply just a bunch of crazy stuff that is never elaborated on, as far as I'm aware. Damn it, they locked the door. I always love those little voice lines. And now, we don't even take off our shoes, we just lie on the bed. Get some flashes. We don't even go underneath the blankets. <sighs> though we say, do sink into them. Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You've been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. <laughs> almost. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well, it seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't but, go far enough. But then it, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's a crazy guy. Analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source, and, well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had. But who defines the cancer? What if you're a crazy person that's like, oh, you have flu, that's cancer. We have to cut out your lungs. But it's not easy, and it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it then? <laughs> now that would be telling. But then again, you have been expositing to me, so why don't you tell me even more? I could do the whole, like, follow him, pickpocket the pen to get into his computer, but I did that once, and it's just emails, so don't really care. Let us get on with the assassining. Assassinationing. Assassination. Hmm. Continue. With my eyes, does he activate it by blinking? When you are exposed, throwing soldiers from rooftop. <laughs> when you are exposed, throwing Why? soldiers from rooftops. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what How do you know what see? death feels like, Altair? Slept the sleep of the dead, of the moon, that you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Technically you. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is. So it is said by you. But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overcome. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? <laughs> you do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? 
I should kill you for the pain you <laughs> I should us. kill you. Alex thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this will be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. I have been stolen you from. Nice. They took my knives. Once more, as you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. Time for a tutorial too. So you Electric Boogaloo. No, not yet at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others tracked your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish, it is. Then tell it me does what become it is that I must do. That is one nice thing about this game is you do like reconnaissance of your targets in this game as opposed to the later ones. Find him and bring him here for questioning. Even Assassin's Creed 2, it's kind of just like they're over there. Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. It'll be interesting to see how like other Assassin's Creed games handle the basic gameplay because I know that I like uh, experienced a little bit of some of the later ones and they do the thing that I hate where they're like oh ho ho you have to actually like start the game to get to the settings and I hate that that is my least favorite thing in video games just let me access the options from the beginning please Safety and peace, Altair. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, <laughs> I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. <laughs> if he needs drop, we can. He's just like, or we can I'm very annoyed by you. Good. you remember, just let me. <laughs> Even he's like, I am no fan of training. tutorial. Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and Perhaps. let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. To the village market we go. AKA, we follow the diddly dee. Diddly dee 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 mini map. But yeah, I remember one time that I played this game, I went all in and uh did like all of the mini quests i am not gonna do that again i'm gonna do the bare minimum to unlock because they don't do anything as far as i'm aware like that would be one cool thing if like doing all of the reconnaissance quests actually did something did more than what they kind of do like, if they actually gave you tangible information that you can act on. Because I know one in one of the assassinations is like, Oh, the uh, archers won't be on this side of the building. Like, that would be interesting. If, like, you got actual information that you can make use of. Not so, really. I know what I saw. Mosul opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, I must now go and beat up the basket weaver. The attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding ah. the fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> I must Probably find the basket weaver and then beat him up. Oh, and I also gotta say, I adore the soundtrack to this game. Especially the chase music, which you sadly don't get to hear all that much. Like, that's the thing. The chase music is super good, but you only hear it if you fail. Which is just criminal. Criminal, criminal. What is that fool doing? Being a fool. 
changing directory mid-jump, apparently. And yeah, these... I am not gonna gather all of them. They don't do anything, as far as I'm aware. They just exist. We need a collectible. What about flags? Please, just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I, I can't right now. I'm <laughs> yeah. busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what Man, this guy's actually a pretty good weaver. Look at these baskets. Come back later. As you wish. I'm envious of his basket weaving skill. Give me your letter. Find Masoon near Cypress Tree. Now we must go and beat up a dude. I don't know why, but just like looking at that kind of makeshift trough with water. And then I'm just like standing above it. I don't know, that amused me. Also, last time that I played this game, I, like, listened to the... <laughs> I'm not the traitor. That's what everyone wants to know, wants to say. <laughs> now I'm reminded of the time in which uh, Mass Effect game. In Mass Effect 2, I believe, I just, like, was listening to a target that I was following for a... Uh... Quest. I forget which, like, one. I think it was an ally quest. And I was just, like, listening to what he had to say, and I think he looped, like, three times, and I didn't even notice. As shown at the beginning of the stream, I am not the best. Why can't I beat him now? Nobody will care. I should be able to beat him up. It's a video game. But no, I have to wait for him to be like, I'm going to go into this conspicuous dead end. And then I get to beat him up. I love that. <laughs> the equipping fists button. Basically makes it look like I'm threatening them. He, do he doesn't know anything. Stop following me. You made a grave mistake. I'll beat you up. Also, I don't think... Yeah, you can't actually uh, counter fists in this game. Speak quickly then. Speak and die. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamar. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We. Who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. Once again, he also has all his fingers. Right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Mualim who will judge. That's and now we drag him to Al Mualim. You stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent. To renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart. But truth. That's what everyone I says. Will not repent. Look at his freaking neck. Die. His neck's like at a 90 degree angle there. You did well, Altair. And have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains that to sounds be like they spliced out of two lines fear. together. These what will become of, and then the one the who helped him. Sounded like two different takes. Twisted. These men must be destroyed. Ah, oh, he's making stone Soon angels. We'll know what sort of man Jamar is. He's not very active that about it, but he's making them. What now? <laughs> like the stone angels of Pompeii. Oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list 
Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the crusades continue. You will find them. Yeah, that kind of tracks. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. One thing that I am very annoyed by when it comes to the Assassin's Creed series, they haven't done one in Japan yet. It's just like, come on, a ninja assassin would be awesome. But they just don't. They don't do it. We got frickin' Vikings. Also, that bird is just floating. Its eyes are textured and it looks weird. I don't even think he attached a message. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be silly, Al Mualim. Brotherhood is the third game. Like, released. But now I have my almost middle finger blade back. It kind of looks like he's looking for a way to <laughs> disable it there. It almost looks like, oh no, my blade is stuck. How do I retract it? Altair. It seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. That line is just like stuck in my brain. It seems my students do not know how it is to wield a blade. Yeah. Smack him. Smack him. Fight. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Make you like Reese's Puffs. Yeah, that I never... Basically, it only ever seems to happen here. I can never get it to happen in actual... Actual combat. In actual combat, I can never get that to happen. Yes, I'll exit. You must be busy. I understand. You must be busy. I am a protagonist. Oh, we shall just leave. I'm also so used to Assassin's Creed's, uh, further Assassin's Creed's that let you, like, bowl people over when you run by holding B as well. But now I can murder people. Get out of here. Please be more careful. No. You do not exist. You are 3D. <laughs> like, that's another thing. How would the animus, like, create all these people? These people that I know nothing about. Technically, they are not real. There is no basis for their existence. Well, one thing that I do find interesting about, like, the Assassin's Creed games is... The ones that had the overworld are super interesting to me. Because, sure, if it just immediately sent you to the cities, it would be, like, a more practical, but I kind of enjoy there being the kingdoms that you just, like, run around in between. Overall, I probably prefer the simplified version of, like, oh yeah, it's like... I think Assassin's Creed 2 also kind of does it, but I have, like, no memory of it. It's been so long. 
Use the scholars you have rescued to bag them. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Time to climb. He's going to hurt himself. I'm going to hurt you in a moment. <laughs> I'm trying to think. There was a game that did the Ubisoft Vision map towers in a way that I really liked. I think it might have been Far Cry 3. Because, like, they were their own, like, little thing, and they actually, like, did a lot, all things considered. And not just, like, vision. And now... Give me vision! Yeah. Can't wait to play the other Assassin's Creed. I just felt like it would be a good idea to start with one that I knew. And plus, like, even if, even if, like, Assassin's Creed 1 isn't the fan favorite as Assassin's Creed 2 is, eh, I just think it's nice to kind of begin. Hmm, interesting, they didn't come after me. Oh, because we, we came from that way. Let me just see. Because we are going to Damascus. So we're going to there, wrap around there, there, yeah. Kind of plan things out a bit. Yeah, the one downside to the overworld of this game, the kingdoms, is they are a bit kind of basic. Samey. You are mine. I don't believe you. I'm quite my own person. Come on, horse. I find it funny, I just clicked the, like, uh, high-profile button, and immediately they're like, KILL HIM! Ah, uh, just silly AI. I don't even know why they're, like, super high-profile. KILL HIM! HE HAS A HORSE! And he looked at me funny. I almost jumped off without synchronizing because I am a fool. I am le fool. And now we fly. He tried to follow me. Jerk. I'm gonna kill you because you mean. Fine, he's not going back to his post. And it seems that me getting away from him turned him into less of an angry enemy? Somehow? He went from, mm, I have my sword out and I'm gonna kill you if I see you, to, uh, I'm kind of alert, but not all that bad. How do you even hear me? Or see me? I can't even see him. Game. I don't even know why he saw through me. Game's mean. Game's very mean. And the game didn't let me, like, disconnect and get away from the enemy. I miss Assassin's Creed 2, where I could just hold and get away from him. That's not what I wanted to do, game. The 
game is feeling weird right now. He somehow heard me go high mode on my horse from behind the building. And did he dis- that's also not what I wanted. So we have to- ah, that's where he is. So he did see me. Alright. I always thought he was back there for some reason. If he got angry at that, I would have been annoyed. Game, stop. Stop forcing me. They don't mind if I'm on the roof. Being on the roof is fine. That's also a funny thing. No <laughs> no assassination for you. But how could he see me? I was just coming right at him. That's also another thing why I prefer like Assassin's Creed 2 slightly more is Hey, we're, we're gonna have, like, complex combat and then take away some of the combat. Which doesn't make much sense. But I just make it a tradition to kill this guy every single time. Even though I don't go after all the Templars. Why not go after just one? Where'd he go? He teleported away, and then he's back. But you didn't have your sword out. That's illegal. You're only allowed to be like, ah, you over there. When you have your sword out. Come on, game. Could call me Puta. <laughs> he fell into the, the hay. I think he's glitched. He's trapped. Ha 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 ha, fool. He is no longer trapped. I am the fool. Game, please. He wants his dead map. Yeah, the the Templars that are like, ah, you can like hunt them and find them. They're just kind of annoying to do deal with. Especially when the game is like, hey, we have this built-in mechanic that lets you like air assassinate people. But we're not gonna let you do it against this guy, because he has like a chest behind him. He also like choosingly decides when to appear. Or maybe the game got sick of me harassing him and now he's gone. And of course he appeared right as I was running away. So it, I don't understand this game sometimes. Kind of still very annoyed that it's like, oh no, you can't air assassinate this guy. We haven't taught you yet. Apparently, this Templar hates scholars. Why do you hate scholars, my dude? I do not understand the AI in this game. Come on, I just want to kill this one Templar. Why must you be weird? 
Why must the AI be weird, specifically with this one Templar man? <laughs> Game, he was specifically in the yellow, so he shouldn't have been able to... I don't even think it's possible for me to do that. I don't think I can fall from a roof and attack with a sword at the same time like this guy can. Just playing around with this, the weird AI of this Templar is amusing me. Even though I just want to kill him. Because again, why would you put like the first Templar here that's like, ah, eh, but make it like exceedingly stupid to kill? Do you have eyes in the back of your head, my dude? There we go. Seriously, why would you put a guy there? There's like a collectible guy at that, which is only identifiable by being harder to kill than the other guys in the area. Which is always very odd. He's riding a horse. Kill him. But that's also another reason why I don't go for like a hundred percent kill the Templars, gar grab all of the the flags because they're out here. Game. Come on, game. I wanna be cool. And the game is just very rude and not letting me jump onto the roof. Which is basically the entire point of that. It's supposed to be like, ah, I'm gonna be cool. And jump onto my the from the horse onto the roof. Come on, game, I just want to get on my horse and go away. Game is very mean today. That's also another reason. Because the game is just kind of stupid. How dare you want to get this flag? I'll knock these guys off. Aw, oh, I wanted to knock them off. Because knocking them off the cliff is ever so slightly amusing. No. I want to do that. Because we have a tower to climb. Climb the tower. <laughs> the weird, like, contextual climbing will always be the one of the negative parts of this game. Where it's just like, I want the, him to climb. And it's just like, sorry, but you have to be five centimeters that way. Or else we just can't do it. And there is a flag, but there's no way in hell I'm gonna jump down for it. Just no reason to jump down and grab it. Come along, my horse. We shall go. It's kind of nice that the horse that you've specifically ride. Very odd about these guys. Let's see. And the next tower is over there. In fact, I don't even know why this area has the, the towers. Because they don't really reveal all that much. It's just, hey, you can actually see the geography. How about that? The geography is slightly revealed. Or is it topography? One or the other. That's not what I wanted, game. You're probably not going to care because he's, he's a Templar. But I kill the Templar. Because why not? He's just right here. 
guarding a chest that nobody cares about. Once again, I doubt you can actually air assassinate him for some reason. Or maybe that's just the glitch of the placement of the treasure chest on that one guy. Because that always happens. You're like, haha. This is the perfect Templar to be killed by air stab. And then the game doesn't let you air stab them. It is very rude. You see nothing? I'm just getting to my horse. You can play music with this. Play very annoying music with it. Don't mind me. I'm just passing by after killing one of your Templars. And that should be all of the towers in this section of the map. Yeah, it's just like most of the flags, especially since there's so many of them, so many of them everywhere, they're just a bother to get, and I don't really think they do anything Use the to enough the to, like, make you want to care. They're just collectible for collectibles' sake, even more so than n innumerable, innumerable amount of collectibles that are for collectibles' sakes. Why are you even carrying the water too? They're climbing, they're, yeah, kind of climbing a mountain pass. Yeah, that's kind of mountainous. Time to save person. I want to save the per- Die! One of my favorite glitches with this game is, hey, we actually did it. But one of my favorite glitches with this game is if you don't uh, if you uh, are in a chase and you try to save a civilian they will run away instead and I just find that amusing <laughs> a true hero kills people Yes, you are done com conversationing. Be gone, this Satan. <laughs> and now we blend. Will it blend <laughs> with an Alta <laughs> with an Altair action figure? The answer is yes. And see, this is one cool part of it, is that these have actual functions. You save people and you get rewards that will help you get into places. I wish there was more of that throughout the game. But, like, with the actual, like, uh, story missions, where you go to do a thing and uh, maybe you can cause, like, an entrance to be opened or an exit to be left uh, open as well. Maybe you could uh, plant something so that the guards might turn on each other in chaos when something happens. Just any number of things. To just spice things up. I, I, yeah, sure, this is the, like, uh, the first of the first of them, but still. They don't return to this idea at all ever, I think. As far as I'm aware, there aren't any more of the... Bibbidi like <laughs> There it is, Salah Hadin and his infidel army. But, yeah, I don't think in the future Assassin's Creed games they ever return to scouting out targets and stuff unless it's like a specific unique mission. There aren't any cookie-cutter missions that they do anymore. And again, 
since that doesn't do anything, we are going to just do the basic and pure like missions, no more than that. We aren't going to do any of the extra ones because the extra ones are just kind of bleh. And stab. Apparently, stab through the butthole. I can't see because tree. Die. Die. I saved you. Now give me your money, wallet. A true hero. Apparently that just lingers. <laughs> That's also another amusing thing. For just, for no reason, they're like... The dead people that you created, and they saw you create. Who could have done such a thing? Uh, a true hero, apparently. You understand? Yes. I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Does this imply that this guy is going to die once we take his note? I have everything you'll ever need. I don't believe him. Five feet from where he was told, go do thing. He failed. All right. Well, go save citizen, tower, tower. Uh, we'll see what other, like, informant things we can get because I'm not a big fan of some of the missions because I think we'll have to do three missions. Uh, to unlock the assassination. And again, they don't seem to actually do anything. If you actually do them. Oh yeah, and uh, Altair can't swim. Which is amusing. I knocked him down to just one. I can't wait to get my... Uh, my uh, my counter that went right through him i hope that didn't glitch it there we go and now in a chase these guys will help break chase i have to get out of here Thank you, guard, for looking at the dead body and being like, hmm. Oh, yeah, and I'm, now I'm just suddenly reminded of, like, another... Uh, like, last time I played this, I actually ran into a few kind of major annoyances, all things considered, that I don't think were intentional. One was, I think, a, uh, a timed race thing or something. It was for one of the missions. But for whatever reason... Uh, there were also, like, uh, guards there, and I would, like, kill the guard, and but then, like, oh, you got into a fight, so, uh, uh, mission is cancelled. But then I would try it again, but the bodies didn't despawn, and then the guards would react to the dead bodies and fight me, causing me to fail again. And then at one point, guards just appeared out of nowhere! Sometimes the game can get just very funky. You dare steal in my presence? I'm gonna steal your life. That's my favorite tech. Again, 
I can't get the tap at the same time, but some... I think it's because you can't just instantly do it like a counter. You have to, like, weaken them, and then you can do it, maybe. But that's not how it felt in the tutorial, which is a bit shenanigans, if you ask me. Ever so slight shenanigans. Again, I find it quite amusing how the guards, like, have... And, like, some people, like, the repeating lines that are again and again and again and again have less, like, have more compression, less quality to them. I just find that amusing. Uh, I just kind of like the basics of this. The nice, simple feeling of Assassin's Creed 1. I wonder if, like, if Assassin's Creed never came out, and then somebody was like, I'm gonna make a game, and it was Assassin's Creed today, how it, how it would fare, how things would change. Save Citizen, Interrogation, Save Citizen, hit there. Of a merchant prince without fear. What do you want? Release. Way your life. <laughs> your life ends now. No, that's your life. Your life is gone. And while we do kind of just basic things, I will say uh, something interesting. I tried uh, Fortnite again because it was. It's been a while since I tried Fortnite. So I decided to try their no build mode where because that's the one thing that just like killed the game for me was because I had no like super care about the uh the building mechanic of Fortnite myself so when uh <laughs> and hilariously, I would have tried it sooner if I hadn't heard that the no build, like, uh, gameplay mode was supposed to be a, uh, like, like, supposed to be a, like, a temporary game mode. But apparently it was so popular they decided to keep it. So yeah, Bob. Who knows, maybe sometime I'll stream some Fortnite. As a gaff, as a goof. You got my way, I kill you. Thank you for being an assistant to murder. The vigilantes are just a nice boon to have. But as we continue just saving random civilians from corrupt guards, nothing has changed. One of these days, I'll have to play uh, Ghost of Tsushima on stream. Because I, I played Ghost of Tsushima like three-fourths of the way through a long time ago. Like a, a long, long time ago. Basically when it first came out. And it's been a while since I, I don't remember everything too much. So... I'll have to give it another go. Maybe even grab the DLC. I wanted to go up, game. I want to go up. Because Ghost of Tsushima is a good game. So one of these days I'll have to play through it some. It's just kind of sad that it is also, once again, a open-world RPG. Altair, it is good to see you. My favorite camera angle. Friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What is this guy feels like a passive-aggressive kind of guy. Al-Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I do like that each of the city's assassin brokers have their own personalities to them. But that sort of work is best left for me. I understand. 
Go and search the city, determine what he's planning and where he works. Preparation makes the victor. What can you tell me of him? Tamir makes his living as a black market merchant. So the soup district should Black markets existed even back here? Seek out the following Seems places. crazy. A small soup northeast of here, the madrasa to our east, and in the gardens north of this bureau. Then again, I guess black market is just illegal dealings. I assume you want me to return to you when this is done. Yes, come back to me. I'll give you Al Mualim's marker, and you'll give us Tamir's life. As you wish. Remember, Al Tayyar, if you find yourself in trouble and the city turned against you, return to the Bureau. I can shelter you from the storm. Be warned, though. If your enemies are too close, my door will remain closed until you've lost them. Do you understand? Yes. To bring the enemy inside would compromise the Brotherhood. Very well. Off you go. And now we must go and gather various things. First things first, we're gonna go beat up that guy, then just kind of swoop around the city. And then I think we only have to do three missions. We already did the one pickpocket. And like, sure, we can do the extra ones that were like added in the super duper director's cut edition, apparently, of this game. Altair has legs. It seems there were none in Jerusalem who wanted what he had. Fruits and vegetables from nearby farms. I'll take your soul. Were it not for Tamir, Salah men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. Are you gonna take me to Rick and Malf's? For Fallout New Vegas? Now, I just need to find a place where he's alone, where there's no guards, and then I can punch him in the face. Repeatedly. I think he's just leading me to a place that I can punch him repeatedly. Time to punch repeatedly. How dare you! I can't even see you, because tree! The shrubbery gang is here! Who told you the stories? There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait. There is one thing. Continue. <laughs> Continue. He, as of late. he oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah Adin. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop. Listen. Not Salah Adin. They're for someone else. Their crests, these arms, they're, they are different, unfamiliar. Seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Ah, so he keeps the war economy going. Even back here. Everything I know. Now you can die. It's time for you to rest. I think later in the game, there comes a point where, uh... Like, uh... Altair actually feels like bad about killing one of the preachers. Excuse me. <coughs> Blah, I don't know why I always sneeze in twos. I wonder what you got. But there is like a, a a propaganda preacher who hates the person he's propagandizing about. And so when he actually has to kill him, he actually feels a bit bad about it. Finest wares in all the land, I don't believe you. This is one of the more annoying towers to climb in the game, because it's like, <laughs> you have to actually go about... Climb? Climb? It does the weird thing. Of like, you can only do it in specific areas. You have to actually walk about. But look at that engraving. That's a good engraving. All the fanciful engravings that allow me to climb this tower. I wonder if, like, this, any of these towers within the game series still exist. And if 
people are like, oh, I'm going to be in Assassin's Creed. And they try to climb the historical tower. Like, somebody had to have done that by now, right? Somebody has to have had, like, died doing that. You, dare steal in my presence? you, you still die in my presence? Be gone, Satan. Be gone. All the city will know of the murder you committed. I don't believe in you. That man is a murderer. I'm telling you, it's rats. <laughs> rats. Children, I hear them laughing. Rats or children. Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise. Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. <laughs> Climb, Tim, climb. They didn't even let me do. Headbutt everyone. You ever just see somebody essentially running? What is it? Uh. Hit and run ahead, but a guy, and the guy that got hit and run was just like, I didn't see you there. Yeah, probably because your face is too much full of his face. I'm trying to remember a long time ago when I was like reading the TV tropes pages of like the Assassin's Creed games that I played, because it's just a pastime. Like, apparently. This is kind of the video game adaptation of a specific movie that existed around-ish not too long in the past of when this game came out. Is there just a die thief convention going on? Thief! You are filth! Thief! You are filth! I have no idea why. Where even is the, the, the tower? Where's the tower? It's over there. I'm dumb. The moment that I find you guys. Ah, there you are. One second, I have to climb this tower. We climb the tower. Who even put these perches here? Like, what purpose do they serve? They're just building a tower. I want to put a wooden plank here. Like, even if the wooden planks did exist... Like, they would decay and be gone by the time of modern day. Filthy heretic, I don't subscribe to your ideology. Be gone. I saved you. Thank you. I'll find a way <laughs> Look at that guy's arm! Oh, he's just... Horrifying. 
And former escort. I don't think so. Because I definitely remember having problems with the informer escort, and uh, the scholars are glitched. They are very far apart. You will not believe your eyes when you do see the prize. Why would you do that? Scaffolding, meant to be climbed. If scaffolding not meant to be climbed, why scaffold? Again, some dumbass had to have tried to climb such of these buildings. Like, hey, I'm gonna go to the real-life Damask. It's like, that's also another thing, I forget. I'll have your head! Ah. I forget, there's like one, like, uh, city in this game that has a specific name that, like, I've heard say different ways. Oh yeah, Akka, I think it is. Or was it? I don't know. Game exists. And so do many words. Then we'll hit that, and zippity doo -da. Because why not? Scaling and saving people isn't a terrible thing to do. Is he running from someone? I don't know. Are you running from someone? And by running, I mean walk. Not find better items he better not cause any trouble. I'm going to cause you so much trouble. Who knows? Maybe I'll kill you. Ah! <laughs> 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 You can't have my head. It's my head. To take it would be a crime. Be gone, Satan. I do find it funny that them tapping their sword against yours when not in your favor counts as damage. Die. Also, killing shopkeepers by throwing guards into their shopping stalls doesn't count as killing innocents. Blame the Animus. But I'm not an infidel. I'm just trying to get to that wall. And this hay bale's in the way. Sure, there's a flag there, but the flags don't do anything. The flags are flags. I've never... W I don't even know if there was an achievement in the old, like, Xbox 360 version of Assassin's Creed to get all of the flags. That is how much of a pain in the ass they are. I'll never see it coming. I don't even know if they can see me. Look at the engraving. Now I'm suddenly reminded of the, like, discovery that apparently, like, the old, like, famous statues that, like, everybody knows. Like, apparently some of the statues that people are like, oh, just marble. No, apparently they actually were colored. But apparently, like, some person... Like, some person was like, no, I like it without the color. And now that's why a bunch of, like, famous statues don't have coloring. And are just, like, straight marble. Thank you for saving me. The guards were assholes. 90% of the people in this goddamn city. I will cause you all the trouble. I'm gonna hurt you in a minute, Mr. Scholar Man. And then I'll save you from myself, and then you'll want to help me. No reason to stand here, 
I like how locking onto them basically initiates a Pokemon battle to this in these people's eyes. You look at me in such a way? That must mean you want to battle. I wish I had counter. Why is counter a learned skill? I'll find a way to repair this, <laughs> repay this kindness. She says as she runs away. Something needs to be done. It's only a matter of time before someone else discovers it. Tell him then it's in his best interest to keep the souk secure. He won't meet with me. Too busy with this new deal of his. And oh no, the new deal. Already. They won't lift a finger. <laughs> what the hell was that? Me. That guy is d twisting his okay. Merchants, King. <laughs> that guy was just you. twisting his goddamn torso. I've written him a letter that explains the problem. That must be the new deal. Stop this guy from twisting his torso 180 degrees. This guy is acting like me when I pat my pocket to just make sure my phone is still there. Imagine if everybody acted like that. When, like, they have a conversation. And then they're like, yes. <laughs> and then I just sit on a... Sit on a... Uh, the, the, uh, why does my brain want to... Oh, great. It's a Templar. He'll kill me on sight. <laughs> Why are the Templars just guarding random boxes? Like, specifically the stereotypical buckethead Templars of that. Who are stronger than any other people in this game. We must fear them, respect them. Lest they, like, oh, there's an assassin, I'm gonna kill you. Do that one and then return, because I think then we'll be good. Because I don't think you have to actually do all of them. You just have to do like three. I'm sure it said something somewhere about it, but I'm dumb. And I just assume a lot. You've heard of Camelot. Welcome to Assume a Lot. Die. Die. You ever just get slapped in the face and then stabbed through the thigh? What is with these guys and their arms? What is with these guys and their arms all, all the time? All the time, their poor arms. Heh, <laughs> that won't happen here, they say. Now I have a city full of vigilantes willing to help me. Drop it! Ah, oh, I misaimed. Drop the jug! It was it didn't even hold anything. I wonder if the... Like, obviously the carrying stuff balanced on your head is, like, a traditional carrying style to some degree. But I wonder how effective it is, and why, like, you never see that in America. In America, you see people, like, carry stuff in their arms more than anything, but, yeah, carrying with your head would seem like a good idea. Altair, welcome, welcome. Because it's, like, I've done what you asked. simpler. Ish. Things first. Tell me what you know. To me, rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor, and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. 
Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. <laughs> Your plan seems solid enough. That's what you want to hear. Solid enough. You may rest here until you are ready. I want to leave, but he has to get back to his pottery first. I wonder if Desmond had to live through the waiting. Assassination target. What if, what would, a thought just came to my head. What would an Assassin's Creed MMO look like? Like, would they have, like, the modern day player role like it does in nearly every Assassin's Creed that I have seen at least? Like, that would be interesting if it basically played like an MMO variant of the like multiplayer from the uh, good old days because the game the people are asshole and they're like uh, we're uh, ubisoft and we're gonna like not like allow the multiplayer to exist anymore yeah not the best uh not the best place at all. This is not what I want. I can't even see down there. Try to come in like stealthily? No. Game says no. Let me get down there. Oh, I can. There we go. It just messes up your controls a bit. The numbers change nothing. Your men have failed to fill the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night. Don't stand in the fountain, you jerk. So much. And the destination. It is a difficult route. Would that you could produce weapons with the same skills as you produce excuses. I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in the return was you build the orders I bring you, and you say I asked too much? <laughs> oh, did they actually have a texture for spitting in his face? Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No, and nobody is doing anything. Such as politics. Then again, this guy is doing nothing to defend himself. No. Leave the body. <laughs> Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. I'll get back to work. Well, what if I don't want to? I don't want to die. He even acts like a guard. Damn it. Beggar, go home. I don't think there's a way to super stealthily get these guys all the time. now my friend do not profit from suffering any longer you think me some petty death dealer you just stabbed a guy and left his body in the water don't you think why me when so many others do the same you believe yourself different then oh but i am for i serve a 
far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers. Ah. I do enjoy these sections. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such blood. It will destroy you, child. Yeah, this this is all the interesting thing about some of these assassination targets. Is like your pride will destroy you, child, he says. After having killed one of his own men for quote incompetence. Okay, I just bounced off of a like bloody invisible wall. Whoop. You're you're blind, my mood. Blind indeed. And I have to be careful. Because they're everywhere. We need to get to the rooftops. The blinky blinky, you have sights on you. It's always a scary sound. Hilarious that we're kind of just going back by the place that we just killed someone at, but hey. And again, we didn't get to hear the epic chase music by my second favorite video game composer. I forget his name, though. It slips my mind right now. My favorite is... Uh, my favorite composer is Jeremy Seol, I do believe. His name is Jeremy Seol. Or something like that. He did the music for Icewind Dale, the Elder Scrolls games, at least Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. He did all those soundtracks. He was just my favorite composer. He just does a, does a good job. I killed the dude. He dead. Me of your victory, I think you mean bells. And my respect. Bells Thank reached you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. I find it funny that he puts a book on an open As book. You wish, Altair. An you open book opens a book on an open book. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. <coughs> Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. More recent, the, the, anon uh, the anonymous. The animus says. I mean, sure, I could have done the whole other two thing, the two investigations, but... Eh. It's a waste of time and you don't get anything for doing them all. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Tillman is once again insisting I let you rest. So that they... <laughs> so you don't kill me too quickly. Go ahead and talk to him. Uh, can I not talk to him? Well, we have to wait for him to leave. Once he leaves, then. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Ah, well, deadlines. The now. ultimate deadline. stick up the ass. I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists. At least I think you're scientists. And forced to spend oh, yeah. day in And also the animus machine. goes way, way you down. Tell me what you're looking for or why you want it. Well, way, way down. Thanking you for All things considered. This is so fucked. I forgot that they... <laughs> Sorry, but it is. This game wins just like, do? let's throw the F-bomb out. Let's see, I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Now I shall just go. Be locked in. Man, I can't even change my clothes. That's just such a wonderful line read. 
I know that there are various secrets about this area, like, oh, if you do this, you can access that, but I kind of don't care about them too much. I did them once, they're interesting, but they're basically on the level of Easter eggs with this game. They don't really do anything. The following morning. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. But with that, we've been going for about two hours. I think that is a good stopping point. We got our first assassination target, and all the other assassination targets will kind of go faster from here on out. So, yeah. As a first time back to Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 1, still lots of fun, even if there's still some clunkiness and wonkiness to it as a first installment of a franchise. I think the last time that I played this, it was for recording and not for stream, and then that recording never saw the light of day. So we'll give the general thought that I did back then that Assassin's Creed 1 is the perfect first game. If it was an only game, it would have been garbage. It probably would have been pretty bad. But the fact that it is the first game of many makes it like more like uh, just not as bad. It's I can be forgiving to you, the game because you have Prodigy that go beyond. At the same time, I don't know like how bad the other ones get or if they were all overblown to a certain degree because I know that people really love Assassin's Creed 2. People like Brotherhood and Revelations from what I remember. 3, I don't remember hearing anything too bad about. I think the story might be meh according to some people. Black Flag people really enjoyed for the gameplay, but then it went like Unity and uh, the one that happens in London, and then Rogue, and then I think they took a break and came back with Odyssey, which is the super duper RPG one, but I don't know, we haven't, uh, I haven't played those ones, and I can't wait to check them out. See, because in my mind, I'll probably come away with the opinion that Odyssey uh, Origins... No, they didn't come out with Odyssey. They came out with Origins. They both begin with that kind of sound, so my brain mixed them up. But I'll probably find Odyssey and Origins fine enough. But I'll probably come away with the thought, yeah, this doesn't feel like Assassin's Creed. But we'll have to get there. And there's lots of games between this, uh, <laughs> there and now. But, yeah. I want to play those. I want to play Ghost of Tsushima. I want to play lots of games. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have a YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where all of these eventually end up. Like Mass Effect 1 through 3. Uh, recently, Digimon Survive, my first playthrough. Might be doing a second one here on Twitch sometime. Which, speaking of, if you're one of those people already watching he these here... Uh, Bibbidi Bop archives on my YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. You can catch me playing these games live on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Although I might do some YouTube streaming to see what that's like, who knows? Mm -hmm. But if you want more art from me, like my little avatar in the corner, you can check me out on Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Tumblr, all of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye! Bye.